Greetings. Thank you for this wonderful privilege of being able to come to you and share the Word of God with you, spend a moment in prayer. We trust that you will be encouraged today as we continue meditating and considering on how you and I can have faith for the future. As we said at the beginning of this week, uh, many people are afraid about the future because it is unknown. There's things that we have no idea about. We don't know what's going to happen. And so just the fact that there is this big uncertain time up ahead makes people fearful. But another reason why people are fearful about the future is they are afraid that they might be disappointed when they step into the future. They're afraid that something they desire, they hope to happen, will not happen. The fear of disappointment grips them today. Disappointment in the future. Maybe I won't reach my goal, I won't reach my dream, I won't, uh, what I'm expecting, this may not happen, and, and, and the fear of that disappointment, sometimes even being disgraced, the disgrace that comes with being disappointed, not being able to achieve a certain goal or fulfill a certain dream or accomplish a certain task. Not only the disappointment, but the disgrace that comes with it can cause people to be afraid about the future, be disturbed and troubled about something way up there. But I want to assure you about the word, what the Word of God says. In Isaiah 50, in verse 7, the Bible says, For the Lord God will help me. Therefore, I will not be disgraced. Therefore, I have set my face like a flint, and I know that I will not be ashamed. What a powerful statement of faith. What a powerful declaration, a confession of faith in God. And you and I must learn to say this. We must learn to say, the Lord God will help me. Therefore, I will not be disgraced. Therefore, I've set my face like a flint. That means I've set, I'm determined. I have set my eye on my course. And I know I will not be ashamed. God's not going to let me down. God is on my side. He's helping me. He's going to get me to my destination. He's going to help me achieve my goal. He's going to help me come through. He's going to bring me to the place of triumph and victory. And because God is my help, I know I will not be disgraced and I will not be put to shame. In fact, in Isaiah 61, because of the anointing, he says, instead of your shame, you will have double honor. Instead of confusion, they will rejoice in their portion. This is therefore in their land, they shall possess double. God is saying, look, instead of shame, you expect honor. You expect double honor. That's our expectation. So when you think about the future, and there are these thoughts that say that you might be disappointed, discouraged, and disgraced, remember, God is with you. He'll help you. So your expectation is, I will not be disgraced. I will not be disappointed. I will not be put to shame. Let's pray. Father, we ask that we will be bold enough, we will have faith enough to say what the Word says, that the Lord will help us and therefore we will not be disgraced and we will not be put to shame, that our future is secure in you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.